Europe did something they have not done in years, reduced interest rates. Its benchmark rate was cut today by a sizable half a point to roughly four and three quarter and five percent. There had been some uncertainty about the size of the cut. It's a dramatic shift for the central bank, which has left rates high for four years to try and curb inflation. Fed Chair Jerome Powell says the central bank is confident that inflation has largely been defeated and is moving toward its two percent goal. Our economy is strong overall and has made significant progress toward our goals over the past two years. The labor market has cooled from its formerly overheated state. Inflation has eased substantially from a peak of 7 percent to an estimated 2.2 percent as of August. We're committed to maintaining our economy's strength by supporting maximum employment and returning inflation to our 2 percent goal. The last time the Federal Reserve changed its benchmark interest rate was in July of 2023. KTV's Amanda Quintana has more on today's announcement. An interest rate cut is good news for a lot of people. If you have a credit card balance, want to finance a business, or are in the market for a new car. I think anyone out there shopping for a car used to rates being much lower than they are right now. So, yeah, there's some anticipation. We're looking forward to seeing what comes from this. For car salesmen, things have been slow the last few years with high interest rates. Volume brands or, or high-end stuff like a Porsche, I think we're all kind of seeing a, a bit of a difference as far as just less traffic in general. Now there's excitement on the sales floor with what the Fed's rate cut could mean for the industry. Low rates now, I imagine we'll see lower rates later too, so I think we're in a good place to just look forward to, to more business everywhere. Things are a little different when it comes to home sales. It's still unclear how the federal rate cut will affect mortgage rates. They have surged recently with a 30-year fixed rate loan topping 7% last year. That put buying a home simply out of reach for many. Let's use this home for sale in Walnut Creek as an example. A four-bedroom, two-bath on the market for $1.4 million. During the record low in 2021, a monthly payment would have been about $6,000. But at the current mortgage rate, a monthly payment is about $2,000 more. This is really could be the beginning of a start of a turnaround for the um, housing market. In anticipation of the rate cut, mortgage rates have already been dropping over the last few months. Still not a lot of demand, leaving homes like this one on the market for nearly 100 days. People have heard that the Fed is going to act starting in September. So some folks have actually been sitting on the sidelines for the summer, waiting for September to come um, and for the Fed to actually act. Chen Zhao, head of economic research at Redfin, says her advice to home buyers is to not try to time mortgage rates because that's impossible. You can always refinance later. If you are looking to buy a house right now, you're looking at a market with very limited inventory, probably, and also a lot of affordability challenges. So if you find a home that really works for your family and you can afford it, I would go for it. The hope is that the new rate cut helps mortgage rates drop even more, but we'll have to wait to find out. Mortgage rates could go down a little bit more. They could stay pretty flat. They could actually go up a little bit more, even though the Fed is actually cutting. Experts say you shouldn't expect to see an immediate difference with this announcement from the feds. What could be more significant is the effect of a series of rate cuts expected over the next few months and into 2025. In Walnut Creek, Amanda Quintana, KTVU, Fox 2 News.